friends, it's Nia. Welcome back to Life with Nia. Today, I am, PD says hi, doing another installment of the, in case you didn't hear him the first time, he says hi again. I am doing another installment of the 2022 Budget Planner Series. Today, we are going to talk about the emergency fund and um, the amount that we need for a one-month emergency, three-month emergency, six-month emergency, or one year. And this number may be different for everybody. I will go into detail about why I selected the things that I did and how I broke it down. Um, and we'll jump into it. Just a quick review. What we have covered so far is, <clears throat> um, an overview, which I shared the tools that I'm using in 2022, which is this planner that you see here. This is an Erin Condren monthly with extra pages added in the back, which is where I'm setting up all of the annual things. I will be using um, the Budget Mom Budget by Paycheck box set. I've covered um, up because I bought the 2021 version and I already used that version in 2021. So I just covered it up with some sticker paper to distinguish the difference between it and make it look different. Um, but it is the same budget planner that you saw me use in 2021. So I will be using that again. And of course, stickers from my shop, Studio Blisco. So we have done goals and 22 things we want to do in 2022. I'm up to 19 things, so got a little ways to go on that. We have also covered um, sinking funds, which are here. And we talked about debt which is set up here and um, also set up a debt tracker. I am gonna go back at the end of the year and update this just because there are things that um, will update and the amount will change slightly. So I wanna try to get it as close to um, accurate as possible. So today we're gonna do the 2022 emergency fund. I just ordered a new box light. My box light stopped working and I feel like my light is horrible. So I apologize if it is a little darker. Um, so I was reflecting on what I did last year and let me just show you that. I did a similar setup where I looked at certain expenses monthly, three months, six months, and one year. And I had um, like some business things listed in here, like to just sort of sustain business operations. I had like debt below the line, I had student loan um, because I didn't know that we were going to get this forbearance for the last year. Um, and so I calculated like what would the necessities be? What would it be with the student loan payment? And what would it be with debt that I considered below the line? Like if there was a true emergency, I would not pay these things. And so I'm um, doing something similar this year. I'll share with you the categories as we go through them. And um, I am breaking it down by what I consider up here to be a necessity. Now, some of y'all don't consider like internet and cable to be a necessity. Um, cable's probably not, but I was just really trying to be thoughtful in my thought process about it. Like, well, what type of emergency? Is it like I can't work and I'm sitting at home? I don't want to stare at the wall. Yes, I could read a book, but I would like to be able to watch TV. Or, um, you know, did I lose my job? It's not likely that that would be my emergency, but I'm just, you know, thinking about, okay, well, I need the internet to continue to run my business. I need the internet to um, look for work. Um, job search online, maybe apply for work. So, you know, some of these things I feel like are eh, iffy on whether or not they're necessary as it relates to internet and cable. I think internet is a necessity at this point in 2022, basically. Um, cable may or may not be, but I am going to keep it. Um, or do my best to keep it. If, you know, if I was in a dire situation, it might be one of those things that I would scrap. Utilities, home, 
um, a phone, a car, car insurance, home insurance, gas, groceries, and household, which for me, household items are things like toilet paper, it's kind of a necessity, um, cleaning products, etc. So that's what I've got in my necessities category. Um, in the next category, I have sinking funds. These are not all of my sinking funds. Um, this would cover my P.O. Box, my Sam's Club membership, bulk shopping, health, car, and pet. Um, and we'll talk about the total amount in just a second. But these are things that I felt like I would want to continue to contribute to and have money set aside in my emergency fund to continue to cover those items. Again, depending on what the nature of the emergency would be, I might not contribute to those items but as an example I put away a little bit of money every month for PD because like if I had an emergency I still want to feed my dog so um you know that's what I'm thinking about when I selected those things if I have a health issue I you know want to continue to be able to cover the cost of um a health related thing in the event of an emergency so um that is why I've I've selected that um then we have the next group, which is tax debt, student loans, and focus debt. And so when we talked um, in the previous video about debt, I have focus debt that I'm working on um, paying off in 2022. And so that is the total amount of that debt. Um, and then like, what would it cost to sustain my business? This covers, um, I use Instant Ink. Um, I use QuickBooks, sticker paper. Microsoft, um, I have a subscription every month for the whole suite of services. Um, Canva, which I use to make all the listing photos and things. Um, I have subscriptions to places where I acquire art and then like supplies and storage. So like mats, blades, um, that type of stuff. So that is all going to be grouped together for a total dollar amount of what I think that costs per month. It's really high. It's not, um, it's high because of the cost of sticker paper, I should say. I don't buy sticker paper every month. I buy it in bulk um, every two to three months. And so I took an average in that sense. So um, that is where I'm my numbers were coming from. So let's jump into this now that I've had explained. So for home, the monthly amount is currently $18.25 and over three months it would be $54.75, six months $10,950 and 12 months $21,900. Utilities that um, are water, sewer and trash is $175. A month and I'm not gonna continue to say three six and twelve y'all get the picture um, smud and PG&E which is my gas and electric is 150 a month that's an average it goes up and down um, and so these are the three six and twelve month dollar amounts then um, telephone 125 and I think that actually may be high. Um, that number might be coming down. Like I just paid the bill and it was only $90. So I'm not sure where I'm getting my numbers from. Um, internet is 50. And that number may change. I got an email saying that like my promotional period was ending. I've been with the same provider for like two half year so like what promotional period and like select a new plan how about we just leave the current plan alone anyway um so we'll see what they're doing i gotta figure that out um cable is 90 and car is 
I think I stopped adding the change and just left it off. Car and home insurance, I have that combined. Gas, I put 120. Who knows where we're going with gas these days. Um, I had $100, I think, this month. It may have been 90 and I'm already out, so I don't know. Hopefully the price comes down a little bit here in California, but it's not looking too good. Groceries, um, 200 Ironically, that was what I had for last year. And I had stayed far below that until the last couple of months um, for my grocery sinking, like cash envelope. Um, I want to say like October or November was when I, yeah, October I went up to 200 But prior to October, I had it at um, like 160 so, yeah. Household, I'm putting 60, even though I typically allot $20 in my cash envelope. And that's because I buy some things online, like I do Grove. And um, I feel like that's household related as well. So, um, okay. So, these items... Should add up to thirty four eighty two. Um, we're gonna add it up real quick without the change on the end. So eighteen twenty five, one seventy five, one fifty, one twenty five, fifty, ninety, five twenty three, one sixty four, one twenty, two hundred. And 60. I probably am driving people who like exact numbers nuts by not adding the change in, but here we are. Okay, so it is 3482. So for three months, it would be um, 1044, 1446. For six months, it would be 2892. And for a year, it would be 41784 So that is what I would need for what I consider bare necessities to make it for a month, three months, six months, or 12 months. Now, let's add in our sinking funds. Again, these are sinking funds that I felt like were necessary. So the P.O. Box, Sam's Club, Bulk, um, and Butcher, Health, Car, and Pet. So the total for those in for one month is 145. For three months, it's 435. Six months, it's 870. And um, a year is 1740. So going back to my 3482 for my necessities, if I add um, the sinking funds, of 145 that number now becomes 3627 and I'm actually going to write that here no that's why we did pencil 3482 is necessities 3627 is necessities plus sinking fund okay so let's do 3627 and then for 3 months it would be 10881 and for six months it would be 21762 and for a year it would be 43524 and I'm just going to transfer that info down here Okay, and so the last thing I'm doing is items that I don't have good numbers on. Um, I have a, a tier plan for the tax debt, and so I'm going to say 300. I don't know 
I, we'll find out in January what the new payment will be. Um, and then the same thing with student loans. I don't know what my payment is going to be, so I'm going to estimate 500 before um, the forbearance. It was 435, I think, or 465. So my income has gone up. I'm assuming the payment's going to go up. Hopefully not drastically. Um, so I'm guesstimating that amount. Focus debt, I do know, is $530. So, um, that would be, how did I get the wrong number? Is it five? Hold, please. <laughs> um... I think it's 5.30, so 20, 60. The other thing is the focus debt does not include after pay and Clarina. I get 5.50. I'm going to put 5.50 instead of 5.30. So... Um, okay, so 550, I got 552 actually, but I like, y'all see, I like to round, so 1650 for three months, 3300 for six, and 6600 for, um, a year. This is minimum payments. Does not include, you know, interest. So it's not part of my debt payoff. It's going to be a little bit different with that because I'm trying to pay it down quicker. Um, that number was higher. Okay, so the total for the f this like debt section is thirteen fifty. And um, so what I'm going to do is since I'm going to add the sinking, the let me back up. So we had our necessities and then our necessities plus our sinking. So now I'm going to add our necessities, sinking, and debt all together. And that's going to be this number. So uh, 3482. Petey said, hurry up. 145 and 1350. That is forty nine seventy seven, and so for three months it would be fourteen nine thirty one. For six months it would be twenty nine eight sixty two, and for a year it would be fifty nine seventy seven twenty four. Okay, now. Last thing is business. So, um, to continue to operate business, I calculated it would be 266 a month. Again, it's not really that high. It's the, the sticker paper that makes it seem higher. Um, 1596 for six months and 3192 for a year. So, um, let's just recap. Necessities, 34.82. Necessities plus sinking funds, 36.27. And necessities plus debt, 49.77. And so now, plus the business... 
the total is 52.43. For three months, it would be 15.729. For six months, 31.458. And for a year, 62.916. These numbers are not too far off of what I had for last year. Um, so I have 5K for a month, 15K for three, 30K for six, and 60K for a year. And um, those were rounded a little bit as well. Um, I think my total was like 49.20 and I just rounded to up to 5K. So it's gone up a little bit with 52.43 for a month. Um, but that's why I want to say 5,000 to my emergency fund this year or for 2022 um and that isn't a that's five thousand i want to say five thousand i already have money in my emergency fund it's not five thousand so um if i hit the five thousand goal it will put me well over it um i also want to save um i think i said ten thousand but it's a fluid number at this point because Again, I have to make sure that there's money to ensure that it is a stretch goal and not an unattainable goal. Um, that's the very beginning. So, 10000 towards the sinking funds and the... house fund. I don't know. What are your thoughts? How much do you think an emergency fund should be? Do you have an emergency fund and what is your, your goal? Is it like a three, three months of living expenses, six months of living expenses? No, I don't have one. Is it a thousand dollars? Are we doing Dave Ramsey? What are we doing? Are we doing the budget mom? Are we doing something different? Um, this is just sort of what I've worked out for myself. Um, and you know, I have flexibility, I think in this plan, um, you know, you can definitely cut things. Um, the reason why I add business in there is because I'm thinking of different scenarios. And so like, if my primary source of income is for some reason eliminated, can I still sustain my business and bring in some other type of income? Um, which could make or break me. I mean, it could save me in the event of an emergency. So, um, but I would need supplies to continue to do that. So I'm just trying to think outside of the box in, in a sense. So this is what I have for my emergency fund. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I... I'm really curious to hear what people have to say about emergency funds. So, uh, you know, comments down below, thoughtful comments. Um, I will send a couple of people some stickers from Studio Bliss Co. for the um, 2022 budget collection. Just some random items um, to help you create your own 2022 budget I'll just pick a couple of random um, if you answer any of those questions like do you have an emergency fund um, what do you think is a good amount for an emergency fund um, do you think three months is good six twelve one none a thousand dollars is you know a, a, just a set dollar amount rather than a an amount for a particular time period um, just let me know what your thoughts are um, and share those down in the comments below and then I will pick a couple of people to send some stickers to um, it will be these um, 2022 annual budget collection stickers and like I said I'll pick a few random stickers and send those out to you so that you can also set up some budgeting for your 2022 um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and got some ideas. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.